This is the mighty Brahmaputra River, originating in the Mansarovar Lake region. He scales a journey of endless length of 3,000 km, irrigating vast expanse of land along its banks. This river is the highest and deepest in the world, flowing from an altitude of 4,000 meter and journey of 1,700 km through Tibet before entering India. The Brahmaputra or Yalung Sangspo flow east from the majority of its course towards China, but at this point it takes a sharp turn down south into India. And in this turn, river drops from 3,000 meter into this gorge before gushing across the border into Arunachal Pradesh. This crucial point of the river is called the Great Bend. On the 25th December of 2024. China made a historic decision to approve the construction of the world's largest hydropower project known as the Mekong Hydropower Station. This location also means that this is the most dangerous seismic engineering challenge in the world. In the remote corner of the Tibetan plateau, surrounded by towering mountains, China plans to tap into river's power and divert the water. The Brahmaputra is the most powerful river in the world. Known by different names as it travels through different countries. First as Bakwa, which Chinese renamed recently. After Shigatse, it is known as Yarlung Sangspo in Tibet. Brahmaputra in India and Jamuna in Bangladesh stretches across multi cultures and history. This project Medong Dam has been years in making, dating back to China, the 14th five-year plan. The dam will be capable of producing 60 gigawatts of electricity, which is enough to power 5 crore homes. This is more than the thrice the capacity of Three Gorges Dam, which is currently the largest hydropower facility in the world, or 60 times larger than the India's largest hydropower dam, Terai Dam. And all this come at a cost of tension. China is building the dam without any discussion with the downstream countries leads to a rise in tension. In the absence of water sharing treaty, India and Bangladesh are raising concern and complications surrounding these projects. And in the past, China has shown its behavior by not sharing the hydrological data of the river with the falling governments which has led to artificial ocean floods. But China argues that the Mendong hydropower project is going to redefine the new scale of hydropower project in the world and they are doing that this in order to reduce their carbon emissions. As they want to reduce their reliance on coal-based power. But why does China wants to build a huge dam in such a remote location? And top of that, they have so many easy options. Why? The answer is India. The Chinese Communist Party always fears that India will attack in future to liberate Tibet, which was forcefully captured by China in 1950, and the geography favors the Indian troop movements into the Tibetan plateau. Thus, developing such a dam on a large scale helps to create road infrastructure for making dams, as dams require heavy equipment, earth moving machines, etc. And once the dam is completed, later on these roads in future will help in Chinese troop movements from Chinese heartland to the border. So China is developing its roads for military uses in the name of civilian constructions. In the same way India has developed its roads along the border of Uttarakhand in the name of religious places, Chardham. But in reality, these roads are military gate, which can be used by the Indian army to advance very swiftly into the occupied Tibet. And China is very well aware of its geographical disadvantage. As you can see in the map, the major Chinese supply line in case of war are the city of Chengdu. And Chengdu is well below the mighty Himalayan ranges at an altitude of 500 meter which is over 1600 km or 32 hours away and the alternative route 
is 2400 km which is 40 hours at an altitude of 3500 meters. Indian military bases are just 10 km away from Nikachi military base of China. And this base alone only helps China to control Tibet as it is the main logistical hub center of the PLA. So in a case of war, India can take out several Chinese bases, posts, roads, tunnels and bridges and can advance into the capital of Lhasa in 8 hours. The Indian army can advance into two major fronts to stop the Chinese reinforcement that is the Siang Valley towards the Medong County and the Lohit Valley towards the Raksok Lake. Thus cutting the G138 highway permanently from the Chinese heartland. And within the initial hour of conflict, India can liberate 27,600 square kilometer of area without any challenge. And China helplessly can't do anything to stop the Indian forces. As you can see in the map, the mighty Himalayan ranges which surrounds the Lohit and Siang Valley are stopping the Chinese PLA from reinforcing the area as the surrounding mountains are over 5000 meters. Thus, these mountains are providing a perfect shield to the Indian troops in the valley and stopping the Chinese from entering into the valley. So as per the art of war, if you cannot access your own territory, then make sure that the enemy cannot access it also. And how to do that? The answer is the Medong. That's why China chose Medong out of all the options available. Once the dam is built in the Medong, then the entire area will be under water, thus limiting the Indian army access to invade from this area, thus protecting the highway G138. And if Indian army advances in future through this valley, the Chinese can release the water onto advancing Indian army troops. So in future, don't be shocked to hear that China is making an another dam over the Lohit River. China is slowly trying to cut away each available option through which Indian army can advance into the Tibet. One of the way that China has found is by building dams. So if you like this video, please subscribe to CHNX file and share this video among with your friends to make them aware why China is building dam over Prambhuputra. Till then, goodbye.